Hi, I'm Jay Thomas. Welcome to this week's edition of Hot Rod Hangout, where we check out what is new uh, on Faithful Avenue in the showroom here at Rod's Hot Rods. I got Rod with me, of course, and we're just kind of wrapped up after, after the, the big, Dragons. Yeah, yeah, the big whirlwind weekend at Dragons Car Show. Pretty busy show. They yeah. set records for like the 50 50 draw for Prairie Land Park. And I don't know. I, think, I thought it was pretty steady traffic the whole yeah. day through. I don't know if it was busier than last year. Maybe it was. I don't know. But I was, we were kind of busy in the booth. So yeah, that's good. As long as you're busy, it's. Long days, but it was good. It was so, good to see everybody. Yeah, a lot of people, I got to meet a lot of people in person. I know that watch uh, our our weekly show, yep. and they said hi to me, and hopefully they said hi to you yep, too. Absolutely. But that was really cool to see. So thank you if you did stop by and say hi. That was that was great to meet you in person. We're going to check out seven new cars here for the showroom. Seven new and... Uh, We're going to talk about... Four or five. Four or five still coming. Yeah. yeah. We're actually going to start with one that's right behind this. This is new, but a bit of a returnee in a sort of way, right? Kind of. I had this last fall for probably about a week. Yep. And uh, sold it to a customer. We had lowered it for him. So, uh, and he got bored. So he was at the show and I seen him there and uh, he was going to sell it. I'm like, well, I'll, I'll take it back. <laughs> so it's uh, what year? 1989. 80, 89. Okay. GMC. Yep. Um, Nice little, you know, regular cab, long box. Yeah, fairly loaded. Um, and, in, and in good condition. You know, it's like new paint on this. Yeah, it's new paint body. Uh, just done last year. Which is, which it is a little bit of a, you know, it's it's just a, sort of one of those that, uh, you know, it's not one of the complicated um, paint schemes or anything like that. Yeah, it's, just, it's just a nice simple truck. Just clean. Yeah, yeah exactly. We're toying around, maybe putting some 20s on it and just changing the look a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But handsome truck the way it is yep. too, you know. Very nice, very nice. You don't see a lot of these two that uh, that are in this good a shape, you know, this generation anymore. They don't come around that often. Like especially this. the inside's really nice. Like yeah, you know, but that's that's pretty incredible to have it in that good a shape. No cracks in the dash. That's Air the old, conditioning, power locks, power windows. Yeah, the automatic AC there. Cool. I had a friend who had a truck just like this when we were in high school. We called it the Silver Bullet. Because it was it was just the same as this, just just all silver. Even had wheels almost almost like that. Boy, that thing smoked tires. Yeah. <laughs> the old two ninety five fifties in the back. Yeah, this is in good shape. So yeah. Very cool, very cool. Nice simple truck. I actually don't think that's going to be around very long. No, it's it's in the price range too. Where yeah, it's uh, somewhat affordable. Exactly. Hey, we're still waiting to see this come. Can't oh, wait. Oh, I forgot. There was a couple more. Of yeah, look at, gonna look at, we're going to get that, that pig panther in here pretty quick. Yeah, right? that's at our home shop. We're working on that one. We're, you know what? For Majestics coming up, I was thinking about maybe taking Mater, our old 50 yep. half ton, because it's got a logo on the door. But if I get that pink one done in time, that'd be cool. I've named that the pink panther, just so you know. Maybe I'll bring both. Oh, right on. Very I, cool. I, I forgot about a, a couple more. Oh, okay. Got. Okay. So that, we got me. this Trans Am. Coming Ooh, back. Oh, nice. That's a low, low mile original car. Oh, yes. Right? I remember that one. Yep. With original paint and everything. So yep, 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 yep. That's the 55 big back window we got coming. Ooh. That'll be here Friday. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. This one up here is wicked. 66 Nova SS. I didn't even write that one down. That's coming too. Holy smoke. Um, this short box we got across the street, but we're doing some work on it. So we'll show that one next week. Is that purple? It's purple. It's purple. Dark purple. Cool. It's actually a pretty nice truck. Short that's, box, uh, fleet side. It's very plum color. That's that's cool. Okay, so lots yeah. of good stuff to look forward to. We're going to see in person uh, next next show, yep. right? Next week. And uh, there's some there's some newbies in here. Some stuff that's some left. But we'll start. Well, let's start with this because we're right here beside it. And okay, this is the uh, one of the most sought after muscle cars today. It is. And I've only I will. This is my second one that I've ever owned in my life. Um, anyways. 68 Mustang Fastback. That's right. Right here. And there's that big sloping trunk into Sweet. the back. And she's gorgeous. Look at that. We just we just got her in. Right now, it's a, it's a little racy right now. Or I call it resto mod racy kind of thing. So yeah. we're going to, we're going to, the plan is to do a little bit of work. Um, yeah, we've got, a, we've got a roll cage in here that's going to be making its way out. Yeah, we're going to take the roll cage out. Get some more traditional seats in there, some yep. original ones, right? More original seats, put a new carpet in at that time. And Interior is uh, actually still in pretty good condition, though. Yeah, You know, With, as soon as the roll bar is out, it'll make a big difference. Yeah, it'll so. be really nice, absolutely. Put a proper steering wheel in, like Mustang should have. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, but it is a GT, because you could get a... 
you get a fastback that wasn't a GT, yeah, couldn't you? Just a plain you? old right. one. Right, so, but this is a GT, which is cool. So that means you got the extra little lights up front that are in the grill up there. So it's got an um, overhead console, which is cool too. Oh, okay, we'll have to go back and have yeah, a look at that. Those. It's got a fiberglass hood on it right now. Yeah, you know what, I'm, we're looking at the options. I, I, I would really like to have a factory hood on this, mm -hmm. or like a nice Shelby hood, Yep. which would look cool. The reason why the hood's on there is because of the, of the motor. This is a 552 stroker. <laughs> this is a serious yeah. motor. Yeah, there's a reason there's a roll cage in it, and that's, this is the reason. So we're toying around with what we can do there. Um, and it's got, you know, this has got four wheel disc brakes, uh, wheel woods on it. Um, so that's, that's where the resto mod kind of, yeah. We're playing around with different wheels. We just put these on uh, yesterday just to see how they look. So these went on yesterday. Yep. Cool. So yeah, it's uh, it's a little bit of a work in progress, but uh, yeah, and it's gonna but get the bones are here. It's good, and, and it's gonna get a nice polish. You know, it's it's yep. gonna look really sharp. And uh, I can't done. stress enough that this is a '68 fastback. Like yeah, '67, '68 fastbacks are well, they just that's pretty much top of the food chain. That's right. That they are the car, right? Like that's right up there with the 69 Charger. Like that's so you can say thanks, Steve McQueen, or thanks uh, all the guys who have. You know, bullet the bullet, bullet movie uh, and and all the guys, right? Eleanor, Eleanor, yeah. Sevens and yeah. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much done it. It's and pretty wicked back end on these cars. It is. So it really just, is cool. It's iconic. Yeah, like, it really is cool. That's that shape is amazing. Yeah. Love it. Okay, you might have spotted some of the other ones. You know, as we were kind of going around this one a little bit. Let's uh, let's go right next door here to Mr. Orange. Mr. Orange. Well, this one is kind of similar to our green one we have. It's a low mile original car. So this is forty nine thousand original miles on this car. Wow. Original metal. Has one repaint. The question I have, well, the question I have about the paint before you keep going, yeah. is this is usually the trim line for a, a vinyl top. A vinyl top. Guess what we have coming for it? You got a vinyl top coming. We got a white vinyl oh, top. Oh, which is gonna be so awesome because look at the interior. Yeah. Okay, original interior. Original, there's been a couple things like we did, but we already noted that the carpet looks like it's new. Maybe some new uh, arm pads. On yeah, there. because these go right. But it's, I mean, it's it mostly was, for the most part like original. Uh, well, Even that's. The, Steering wheel's got no cracks in it. That's right, like it that's doesn't. It doesn't have any cracks. There's no cracks in the dashboard. You know, it's- And this car is tight. Like when, I, yeah. like when you're driving down the road, this car is tight. Like there's, like the suspension's like brand new. Well, even the way the doors close. closed. Yeah, it's, yeah, just fantastic. Now it's got some more modern wheels on it and they're pretty yeah. big. So it sits up a little bit high right now. I, my own personal taste, I would uh, lower it down a little bit. Uh, it's got the cowl hood on it. Or I guess the proper, it's an SS hood, I guess, that's what they call it. So if I throw it at you to maybe uh, open the hood, can you do that for us? No problem. We'll, we'll go, we'll dig one loop around while Rod figures it out. I've got a lot of Chevelles. <laughs> the chrome is really nice in this car. The paint is really nice. So and, and it's a good color. It really looks good in this color. This is bone stock underneath the hood, original. Bone stock, original. Yeah, you can see, look at that. Holy. 350. Like our green one's a 307 with, with AC. This is a 350. So a little, little bit more jam. Well, I don't know how much more jam. <laughs> <laughs> a tiny bit. It's got a good look to it. Um, the paint, it's got a lot of um, metallics and pearls in the paint that you can't really see on camera, but yeah, it well, is. You get a bit of a glimmer if I do this right there. You can yeah, see, you can bit, see yeah. quite a bit of it in there. So it must have been an, like an orange car to well, it's start. It's a factory with. orange car. Oh yeah. Right. It's it's a factory orange car because you can see in here, it's the same tone of orange, just without the metallic. Without the metallic. So they really, you know, when they had repaint happen, add a little pizzazz to it, yeah. which which is kind of cool. I I can appreciate that actually. Yeah. Nice tidy under here, you know. Man, oh man. I Chevelles are my favorite. This is my. It's cool to find one. It's cool to find one. I'm going to say this. Like these were so hot rotted and so, yeah. you know, abused. Let's face it, right? That's the life that they led yeah. for the most part. Uh, not that nobody, like if they were, you know, they had a lot of people, had a lot of fun in them and, and rightly so. But to find one that's still got the original engine and it's kind of all together and all there, that's not very easy yeah. to find anymore, no. you know? And, and to have two in the same showroom that are very similar <laughs> as low mile original cars. Yeah, no kidding. Well, they always come in pairs or threes around here. So here's number two. Yeah. Awesome. This is a really cool car. I really dig it. And it's going to have a white vinyl top. Yeah, that's going to look really good. It's going to look so good. I like the 71, 72 Chevelles better. 
I've had more than personally. It's just, it's just a personal preference. Our green one's a 70 with the square tail lights, right? Right. And this is a 72. 72. Right. Okay. With yeah. Round so, we get, so we get the rounds. Right. And single headlights. Right. Right. Yeah, the 70's got the four headlights and the square taillights. Now that you say it. Okay. We're going to move on to something that actually like was, that had come out when I was in high school. And these were pretty cool when they came out, and they're still pretty neat to check out. Well, I think when they first came out, they're kind of controversial a little bit. Yep. People didn't know, really know how to, how to take them. And over the last few years, five years, I think they've gotten more popular. Got the keys with you? They're already in it. Perfect. Look at this. So it's a 2004? Uh, yeah, the 04 SSR. And looks great in red. This was imported from the U.S., um, I've got documents that it came in from Vegas, but there's also a oh. sticker on the back. Yeah, we saw a sticker. It says Hawaii. It says Hawaii on it. I think it's an inspection sticker. Yep. Or, or a, you know, emission sticker. One of those things that he would on there. But these are just, you know, very usable. Uh, it's got a really good sized bed in the back. You could, you know, stop at a set of lights, I guess, and put the top down if you want. Well, let's, uh, let's see how it goes. Yeah, Rod's well, going to give us a break. demo. And I even kind of fit in here, too. Kind of. Made for Americans, you know. So this is cool. It's that lifts up. the one button. Extra tonneau or cover flips up. And I think this is neat because they don't stack on top of each other. They, they sit in one in front of the other. You know, that's pretty speedy. Yeah, not bad. That's a matter of seconds. That's definitely doable in a in a traffic light. Yeah. yeah not too bad at all. Then the back has got more room than you would think. Built-in tonneau. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. There's a bed mat in here, and it's actually like a you know composite finished bed, which is so you can actually use it. You can actually yeah. put stuff in here and and not have to worry about it. Tailgate flips down, I think. Yeah. yeah. That's so pretty swanky. They got a neat look and they really have like a retro styling to them that I think appeals to a lot of people. You, you know, could, you could drive this anywhere and you got air conditioning, you're just comfortable and yep. luggage in the back and it's still got the retro styling. So the question I have is what does it handle like? Because this is tall, like it, it actually is quite yeah, tall. Yeah, it's taller than you think. Right, it it's like that's, that's a tall uh, waistline. So does it drive like a truck? Or does it drive like a car or an SUV? I think it drives more like a, a quarter ton truck. Yeah. Um, but you know what? No, I've, this is my second one. So I haven't driven this one. We just got it in, but I did drive my other one. Right. And uh, they're pretty powerful. This has got a 5.3. Um, so for the size of the, of the vehicle, it, it has lots of get up and go. That's for sure. You know what I see this perfect for is like with the styling that it's got, and the top that you can fold down and a bed like that, this is the perfect car to do Route 66 in. Yeah. Because it, it looks cool. It's functional. I, functional, comfortable, perfect for two people, a couple to go, tons of space to go for a two yeah. week road trip. If and it's uh, too hot, you, you put the top up, put the right. AC on. And it, when, it's, when you want the wind in your hair, you put the top yep. down. Like that's, yeah, super it's cool. the best of all. Totally, totally. And these are, this will actually be priced very reasonably. So um, that this is like another one that'll probably won't last because it's in that good price point where, yep. where things just kind of go. So A unique car that's super drivable and uh, ready to go. Yep. Very cool. We got to go visit one over here that's leaving. Mopar guys. Warning, warning. I was just selling this uh, as you were walking in. <laughs> I was on the phone taking the down payment. He literally was. And this is, it's the real deal, right? This is the real 1970 Challenger RT. This is the real, the real deal RT car. 383. Wow, we got, the, we got all the proof right back here. And there's the sticker. Oh man, that's good looking. Gosh, is it ever good looking. Now, when I, I first looked at this, I went, well, where's the stripe and where's the, eh? Right? Well, what's going to happen, the customer that had bought this, uh, he wants us to install the stripe and the spoiler. He wants a spoiler on it. Right. But the stripe, I'm going to try and talk him into a white RT stripe. Oh, I think, I think white on this would look so good. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to get you to open the door because I don't want to bash up the truck next to us. But look at the, look at the vinyl in here. 
blue it's, interior. It's like, blue. It's a blue on blue car. New carpet. You know, perfect interior. The only thing is that's not correct here is this is uh, a factory automatic car. Yep. And someone's put a four speed in. That's not a bad um, add on. So they just took out the automatic, put in a four speed. Yep. But okay. they did it properly with pistol yep. grip and until the, the proper thing. console and everything looks proper. The vinyl is almost iridescent. You can't tell in the video, but it's actually like reflective. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Like really well done interior. Blue on blue, but the white would look so good on top of it. Yeah. yeah. 383 Magnum. So this is like, I'm. I'll, you're gonna have to fill me in. This is a Challenger RT with 383 Magnum. Could you get it with a Hemi? A RT, oh yeah. Yeah, an RT. So an RT with a Hemi would really be oh, yeah. like something. I couldn't afford that. You could, I couldn't afford that, he says. So yeah, 383. Oh yeah, look at that. The number plates on the on the tag on the right place. Properly done. It's got a it's got a custom uh, overflow tank. <laughs> Little Appleton Estate there. I love it. That's really cool. Very clever. So yeah, that's the very nice. That's the RT. Nice. It's getting a new home. Well, what happened? Uh, the gentleman that bought this, uh, he was really wanting our purple one. Yep. But he waited just a day too long, kind of thing. So uh, he didn't want to let this one slip away. Well, look at here. I haven't even seen this vehicle. We were here only a week ago, yep. and it's basically come and gone. So if you are thinking of buying something from Rods Hot Rods, the website, you're checking it out, you're watching stuff, maybe like this, or like this, or like this, and you want to act, act, do it, do it fast, yep. because things disappear really quick around they here. They do, yeah. Yeah. We're gonna make our way to the other side of the showroom over here and check out another couple. Yeah, I got my like my coming soon list, but I think I missed like five. I think we got ten new ones coming up. <laughs> well, there's a whole bunch of the board. Yeah, that we just I, saw I totally forgot about over some there, of that stuff. right? So yeah. we are gonna have to stop where right over here. This is this is cool. Um, we've got a pair over here. One is a returnee. The other one. Let's do the returnee first. You wanna go that way? Here we go. This is our IROC uh, 88 IROC. This left. Uh, last summer, I guess, I went to Alberta. I do remember the car, yep. yep. And then uh, um, the gentleman contacted me from Alberta that bought it, and uh, he hadn't drove it yet, so <laughs> he's like, do you so want to buy it back? I said, sure. So here it is, right? Yeah. Nice condition, really good shape. Yeah, I mean, popular car, it's got new, new it's, paint on it. It's an IROC, yeah, it's got new paint for sure. Right wheels and everything. Really good shape. A few more little bits and pieces are going to yep. be done. We got the front uh, yeah. emblem to go on. The front I think the front emblem was missing when it left. It did, but we have one now. But we have one. <laughs> so, but we have one now. So that's going to happen. Yep. Um, hey, yeah, because you know what? I guess, do we have any more Camaros right now? We got a fleet of... Sold ones. Yeah, and so that's no sold. shortage of Corvettes. Uh, oh, over yeah, there. No, we have the brown Camaro. The all, all the all original 79. Yep. And we got and our we got 81 right there. This 81 right over here. Okay, so still a few. Again. That's the T-top with the brand new interior. Yeah, that right. one's really cool. Oh, plus that. Yeah. We've already seen that one. That's, oh yeah. Yeah, exactly. we got that Camaro too. Yeah, yeah. We, we got a couple Camaros. We got a couple Camaros. Oh, and I got one at the the acreage shop. We're just buttoning up. We got a 68 Camaro. Mm, nice. Black one. We're just, uh, Ken's doing the final touches on that one. Okay, last, uh, was this the last vehicle? Yeah, it's the last one we got to look at. Yeah, we'll keep the rest for next week. Sure. All right. All right. Here we go. Yeah, this is uh, this is what everybody's been asking for. Um, Pretty much. Square bodies are cool. I like them, but there's a lot of guys that like this body style. This is a '67 to '72. This is, happened to be 1970, but in that era, and people are asking for um, this era. It doesn't matter if it's a long box, short box, if it's a four by four. They're they're just looking for them. They just want this one. Yep. yep. So, this is kind of a neat one. It's uh, it's it's orange, cool it's, interior. It's that's two orange cars today. Two orange she Chevys. Yeah. This one, I guess it's GMC, but this one is really cool inside. Look at the seats. Love the interior. Look at the seats. Factory tack. Yes, I got to show them that. I'm gonna climb in here a little bit. Factory tack right in the middle, right there. And oh, full gauges though, right? Battery, temperature, mm -hmm. oil pressure gauge. And a big fuel gauge. Like, so that was, 
Those, those, are, those, were, those were extras. Oh, yeah. You, you just got dummy lights back then, right? It's got two sun visors, too. Oh, oh, luxury right there. Controls are in. Believe it or not, I think these trucks actually only came with one sun visor. You had to order the other one. You had to order the other yeah. one. Yeesh. But this got the, you know, premium interior with that cowboy. brocade I just thing. call it cowboy. Cowboy, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, exactly. That's the deluxe, whatever. The, the deluxe yeah. cowboy interior. Very cool. Yeah. And closes Another like the right stance it, oh uh, it's great view, yeah the wheels look good kind of neat uh they've gone for the only tweaks here are i mean of course it's lowered and, and all that stuff but we've got the clear lenses for the tail lights which is cool so they're all cleared out oh, yeah. which is kind and of a bit of a modern and the marker lights are cleared out and probably light up the correct way but you I would, know i would guess these might it, be leds hold on well, let's put it on there's leds up here but those, those are that might be a, might be, like a LED, but like a retrofit. Could be, but this one back here, I mean they're they're red when they light up, obviously. Yeah, yeah. which is cool. That's but clear anything. when they're not on, which is a kind of a neat. A I never even noticed that. And then uh, the nose is is great. Yeah, it's got a the brand new grill in it. it okay, so it's a it's a GMC though, a GMC, right? Yeah. So I'm I'm kind of used to the Chevy nose, which is just a little bit different than yep. this one, right? Like that, the crossbar in here just has a bit of a different appearance, but it's good looking. Man, oh man. A lot of chrome on the front of the GMs, yep. That's yeah, sure. no doubt. Under here, 350. Yep. Go fast chrome. Power steering, power brakes. Getting a little bit of a tune-up, making sure everything is going good to go on this thing. Yeah, the boys are doing that little tune-up, plugs, wires, and um, just getting it uh, tuned up good. Yeah, no doubt. Very cool. Ooh, passenger side mirror. That was an extra too. Oh, it's got the cowl hood too. Oh, that's one little extra. Cowl induction. Now, is that a is that a, a hood you could actually get from factory? No, 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 no. That's a that's Adam. an aftermarket. Yep. Looks pretty sharp though. Okay. This is over. Uh, this is custom. <laughs> I'm sure that's going to make it go faster. <laughs> Probably. Or maybe the radio is going to work better. It'll save fuel economy because there'll be less wind resistance. <laughs> I might change that. <laughs> okay, so what do we got coming? Because we got a whole well, list I, of stuff. I showed you some stuff on the board yep. there. And beyond that, we got, uh, I toured the purple truck that they went across the street. Yep. Uh, oh, we got another dune buggy coming. Oh. Yeah, we got a blue one. It's kind of more retro. It's got a back seat. It's got a top on it. It's got old Kragers. Oh, awesome. It's got the big whip antenna. Nice. Blue. It's pretty cool. Needs a foxtail on the end of it. Or no, raccoon, there's a Canada flag right tail. now, but uh, raccoon tail, foxtail. Whatever. Do you it is. know for my Mater truck that I have the whip antenna with the foxtail on it? Really? Yeah. I've never seen it. Because I've, I don't know. I took it off a couple years ago. You know what? That's going, actually going down the highway. It, it like it, it goes back. <laughs> His and nose it, dove right over. Yeah. yeah. So if we take that to the Majestics, I'll probably put that whip antenna on with the you know, foxtail. That's something we didn't see at Dragons this year. We haven't seen one of those whip, big whip antennas yeah. on a road on a like a hot rod in a while. Yeah. Well, that you, wasn't there at all. You might see that in Regina. There we go, okay. Well, if you saw something you liked in the video today, make sure you go to rodshotrods.ca, check out all the pictures, pricing, details. It's always changing and updating and, and yeah, new stuff comes and goes so fast here. Thanks for watching again. See you same time, same place next week here on Hot Rod Hangout.